Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome to the Mana Source Tournament Report. With a Grand Prix in Santiago, Chile and a Star City Open in Los Angeles, California, we have a lot to catch up on. We had a good variety of aggro decks, no two in the same colors. Not so true for Devotion decks though, most of those were running blue. And we saw a bit of control in mid-range too, so let's get down to business and check out these lists. The big winner at the Grand Prix was Luis Navas, running something new, Black Red Aggro. The deck keeps a low, fast curve with Tormented Hero, Rakdos Cackler, and Rakdos Shred Freak. The curve tops out at Exava Rakdos Blood Witch, who plays nice with the unleashable creatures in the deck. Zathrid Necromancer and Madcap skills also make somewhat surprising appearances on the list, and as one might expect, the removal package is small but strong with Doomblade and Lightning Strike. Matthias Solier took second in the Grand Prix running a green-red aggro deck. The deck looks pretty much like what we've seen out of green-red aggro lately, but with a couple surprises. Colonian Tusker shows up here, despite the lack of emphasis on devotion in this particular list. Witchstalker also makes a main deck appearance, showing that a hexproof 3-3 for 3 mana is good regardless of situational bonuses. Flesh and Blood also shows up again after its debut in last weekend's Star City Open, because fling is even nicer when you don't have to make a sacrifice. Aggro also made a big showing in the Star City Open, with Ben Lundquist taking White Red Aggro to a first place win. Red is only in the deck for Boros Charm, with the deck being White Weenie first and foremost. The curve is very low, topping out with Frontline Medic as the only 3 drop creature. Soldier of the Pantheon, Pre-Saint Captain, and Daring Skyjack help fill out the curve. A Johnny Collar of Pride, Brave the Elements, and a single Spear of Heliod fill in a supporting role. We saw Green-White Aggro take fourth in the SCG Open, looking pretty much as it has been. A curve that starts with Experiment 1 and ends with Advent of the Worm and Fleece Main Lions going monstrous is just good. Mono Red Aggro took 6 in the SCG Open. This deck showed a lower curve even than a lot of other red decks we've seen lately. Chandra's Phoenix topped the curve as the only 3 drop. Robo Belt Maka is back from its extended vacation, making unblocked attackers a surprise liability. Burning Tree Emissary also shows up on the list to make some big second turns. All in all, it's a more traditional red deck in contrast to the Devotion heavy decks we've seen lately. Speaking of Devotion, Devotion decks took a good chunk of the top 8 positions over the weekend. We saw Red-White Devotion twice, one of those places being 2nd place in the SCG Open played by James Gates. Red-White Devotion looks a lot like Red Devotion, but with Chain to the Rocks for removal. The sideboard also delves heavily into white, taking full advantage of the deck's 10 white sources in Boros Guildgate, Sacred Foundry, and Temple of Triumph. Hammer of Perforos also shows up in the main deck, speeding up the aggression and providing an outlet for excess lands. The version of the deck we saw in 6 at the Grand Prix was similar, but added a Chandra Pyromaster. Blue Devotion took 3rd, 7th, and 8th in the Grand Prix, plus 7th in the Star City Open. Not really any surprises here, the creature bases were nearly identical across all 4 decks. Only the deck from the Star City Open omitted one Judge's Familiar to fit in two Jaces, Architect of Thought of course. We saw little variation in non-creature spells, but there wasn't much we haven't seen before in Cyclonic Rift, Rapid Hybridization, and Biden of Thassa. The other Devotion deck we saw was actually quite a surprise. Blue-White Devotion took 5th in the Grand Prix. The deck is basically Blue Devotion and Blue-White Control split down the middle and stuck together. Devotion creatures like Master of Waves and Thassa, God of the Sea, occupied the same place as the likes of Supreme Verdict and Sphinx's Revelation. Clearly the combination was effective as the deck landed a top 8 finish. Two Esper decks made top 8s, the 3rd place deck in the SCG Open and the 4th place deck in the GP. The main difference between the decks was in win conditions. The build from the Grand Prix went the Planeswalker out, with two Elspeth Sun's Champion and an Ashiok Nightmare Weaver supplementing a single Aetherling. Meanwhile, in the SCG Open, we saw a single Elspeth along two Blood Baron of Viscopa. We also saw Naya Control make a return appearance after its SCG Invitational win last weekend. The deck was quite a surprise, running many more creatures than one usually sees in a control deck. But removal like Mizia Mortars, Anger of the Gods, Chain to the Rocks, and Selesnya Charm gives the deck what it needs to control the board. Curve Toppers, Stormbreath Dragon, and Elspeth Sun's Champion seal the deal on this surprising control variation. Midrange is still alive and kicking, if the black-red-white midrange deck that took 5th in the Star City Open is any indication. 
The deck is creature light compared to a lot of mid-range decks with only two Desecration Demons, no Blood Barons, and the surprising addition of two Pack Rats. Anger of the Gods gives the deck some needed sweep capabilities, and Assemble the Legion helps the long-term game plan. And that concludes our look at the weekend standard results. We certainly have variety in standard as it currently is, with Devotion tech, old and new, and aggro decks in all sorts of colors. While Control still uses blue most of the time, Naya Control is showing us that it's not a necessity. And mid-range is still mid-range because Obsidat and Desecration Demons still exist. No standard Grand Prix next weekend, but we do have a Star City Open in Dallas, Texas, so we'll be back here this time next week with coverage of that event. As always, subscribe below for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Mana Source, I'm Wedge, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.